Good morning. It's Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Good Shepherd, and our scripture is Psalm 23. Every morning I sit at my desk and study God's Word. It's early enough to still be dark, and it always strikes me as the most peaceful, renewing, and blessed time of the day. And I'm always aware of what King David called the peaceful streams of such restful, reflective moments, the holy hush of being close to the Good Shepherd. I've been pursued by His goodness and unfailing love. I'm in the midst of living in His house forever. The images come flooding from God's Word. John chapter 10, I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own sheep, and they know me. 1 Peter chapter 5, And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. And of course, there's the greatest of good shepherd passages, Psalm 23. Consider the ways this shepherd carries the lambs and this old sheep. First, there's peace to regroup and renew. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. Life can certainly wear one down under the kinds of burdens we face. One look at the news channel can suck the hope out of you if you let it. And who doesn't let it from time to time? For that, God reminds us we have everything we need. And he renews our strength to persevere. And then there's guidance for the next steps in life. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. God's word is our GPS. Its purposes are many, but all directed to helping sheep like us find our way in this minefield of life in the 21st century. A shepherd's job is to see the sheep through life's journey. And then there's comfort and courage against fear. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. This is the one I treasure greatest of all. When things happen that don't make sense and life gets scary and I tremble with fear at the thought of going on another step for dread of the darkness, It's then I reach out to hold on to the Good Shepherd's robe just ahead of me. His light is showing the next step, and that is astounding, that he's already been there. He's faced the darkness, and the darkness scatters in his presence. And he turns back to look at me, and his smile lifts my soul, and the darkness loses again. And then... The ultimate question is answered as the shepherd gives confidence in the future and beyond death's veil. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Life with a Good Shepherd is a never-ending, always unfolding, ever-widening, and increasingly blessing story. It's more than epic. It's eternal. Usually, by the time I finish writing a devotional reflection on the day's message, I begin to notice how the darkness outside my window is beginning to give way to the new day's light. The Good Shepherd has been with me through the dark night. And we start another day of going where he leads in the light, embracing where he labors, and rejoicing in the way he blesses. Perfect. For you today, the next time you're greeted by an acquaintance, or the cashier at the Walmart, or one who fixes your car, and you get that question, how's your day going? Haul out Psalm 23 and hit the highlights of every day with a good shepherd. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.